All right, guys, we are at Dollywood. We're pulling in the parking lot now. Very, very excited. Very, um, very excited. Lightning rod, first ride for this guy back here. It's going to be exciting. Very excited. First time at this park. Get his have. first reaction. Yeah, first time at the park. Uh, I've been here before, but it, it was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. So I'm excited to get re on everything. Timmy comes like every year, so yeah, every he's year. pretty experienced with all the coaches here. But uh, for me and Alex, it's going to be almost, I mean, for me still, it's going to be almost like a new park because I have not ridden some of the coaches here in like three years. So I'm excited. Let's go in the park. All right, guys. We're here at Dollywood now. We're in the park. We made it. We made it. It's My crazy. reservation was for 11, and it's 10. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> yeah. So if you do make a reservation with like a, a group of people, and, and their reservation time is at 10, they will let you in. If it's at 11, just. But you can't come in by yourself and say like, oh, I want to get in at 10. But you, if you're with a group, they normally will let you. So uh, masks are required here. Everyone's wearing a mask, which is good to see. It's good to see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. They have the uh, Flower and Food Festival, I believe that's what it's called. And yeah, it's be as you guys can see, the umbrellas are behind us. Uh, it looks really pretty. You this have really nice. some really cool uh, like sculptures and, and, and works of art here and different, uh, they have like a, I believe this is like a flower, all flower garden type uh, statue here. I'm not 100% sure what they're calling this, but uh, as you can see right here behind us, it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful park and I'm excited to be back in Dollywood. This truly is one of the most beautiful parks. I mean, I know you, we, we talk about Busch Gardens Williamsburg. That's, that's, that's definitely up there too, but this is definitely one of them as well. Yeah, well, yeah, Busch Gardens, they're at least nice, but like this place, everyone's nice. Yeah, the customer service is great here too. So yeah, everyone it, just keeps asking us how our day is going already. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's awesome. It makes it feel good. I don't yeah, exactly. It great. It's oh, just fantastic yeah. customer service here. And we're making our way over to Lightning Rod. Oh. My number, current number four, I don't know what Timmy, where do you have it? Uh, I don't know, I have to check. Has to check. All right, I top never, five, right? I think so. Yeah. Top five. All right. So it's in all of our top fives at least. Except for me. And so Alex, his first yet. ride. Yes, very I'm, exciting. We're gonna get a first. We're gonna get a first. I have first... It six. Oh no. <laughs> I have X two over it. I'm sorry. Oh god. All right. Well, it's still a great ride. T top ten for both of us. And then uh, Alex will get in on his first ride. So we're excited to see his reaction to this. Let's go check it out. I want you to take a picture. Uh, right there. That should be too long. I might as well get some as well. And of course, it wouldn't be a Dollywood experience if Lightning Rod was not closed, right? So it is down for maintenance. Uh, it's been running all week, so I have a strong feeling it'll be back up, up today at least sometime. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, of course, you know, I was kind of expecting. I would have been more surprised if it was actually open, I think, than if it was closed. <laughs> so that's a good point. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna go. We'll go do the rest of the park. We'll come. We're definitely gonna come back and check her out Lightning Rod. And we just passed by the old grist mill that everyone knows as the cinnamon bread place. <laughs> oh, we will be getting cinnamon bread later. We're very excited for that, of course. That's probably, that might be the best part, part about this park. <laughs> as, as much as the, the, the theming is great, customer service is great, roller coasters are great. But cinnamon bread. Cinnamon bread, <laughs> cinnamon bread might take it all. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, oh, I remember last time I was here, it was just, oh, it was a treat. So this is just a great park, a really great atmosphere, really great charm. So we're going to go, I think, do Blazing Fury. Yeah, that's the nearest. Get him a credit and re-ride that and then maybe head over to Tennessee Tornado, do Wild Eagle, and then maybe see if Lightning Rod's back yeah. in business. Um, but yep, there you can see Wild Eagle. And yeah, so we're gonna go check out Blazing Fury. Excited to recheck that out. Alright, that is Alex's first ride on Blazing Fury. How was, did you like it? It was weird, but it was fun. It was fun. I'll say exactly. that. Exactly. That is that's, what, that, that's how you describe that ride. But weird. <laughs>
Very weird theming, but it's a fun ride. Yeah, it reminds, me, it reminds me of Black Diamond at Knobles. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of that. There's some actually good air time moments on that ride there. Yeah, so. yeah there pretty, is, there is. That was pretty surprised. I, I remember that a little bit, but I didn't remember it was that strong. I was actually like getting flown out of my seat a little bit there, which is pretty great. So now we're on the Tennessee Tornado, which is, in my opinion, the best era roller coaster. So let's go check it out. Right, everyone. We just did Tennessee Tornado. Yep. And that's crazy. That's a lot crazier than I remember it. Yeah, that was really. There was some good positive G's there. I started to cry out at the end. It's, it's an intense ride. It is a very intense ride. Alan Shoki, of course, designed that one. So I mean, no shocker there. Yeah. That's crazy. But um, that was that was fantastic. A lot, a lot, a lot more intense than I remember. I remember liking it. I remember the inversions being fine. But that was, I mean, that was crazy. All right, so. Currently, we're heading towards the entrance of the park. We have to leave real quickly. We're gonna be right back at the park in about, probably no less than 30, 45 minutes. So, um, but we'll be right back. We're gonna be doing some more attractions here. Hopefully, Lightning Rod will be open by the time we get back. And we'll just hit that real quick when we get back in the park. If not, uh, we'll keep you guys updated. So this right here is the coat of many colors. Dolly's Parton's mom sewing that, which is pretty awesome right there. Um, so yeah, this is really, I mean, looking around at this flower festival it is really, added another layer of charm to already beautiful and charming park. Oh, yeah, park. this is a nice festival. Uh, it's really, really something else. These umbrellas coming up are really yeah, nice. Yeah, uh, the, the front entrance, they have all these umbrellas. I believe the park actually had to do these themselves. They were going to hire an out-of-party company to come and do it, but they actually had to end up doing it themselves because of COVID and everything. And they did an excellent job because it looks beautiful. Um, yeah, this is an excellent festival, and it's a good festival to come during you know, a pandemic because it's all outdoors, it's all beautiful things that you don't have to go inside or you don't have to do anything. Right. Close proximity of people, you can just look at these awesome little beautiful um, attractions and little cool things they have here. Different shops, different uh, statues, different awesome like spectacles, like as you guys can see here with the umbrellas coming up. Oh, oh, oh would you guys see that real quick? It's really awesome. So, yeah, we're gonna go uh, check out, we're gonna actually check out of the park real quick and we'll be right back. But. We'll be right back, and hopefully by then Lightning Rod will be open. I know Timmy stated that the, the station door is still open, which means that they're normally going to try to get it back up, hopefully. For the day, yeah. So it's not officially closed for the day yet, uh, but we'll keep you guys in tune with what's going on with that. And it's been a great day here so far. All right, back in the park now, yeah. and we're going over to Lightning Rod. Hopefully it comes up. I don't think it was up when we were walking in. It still says temporary closed on the little right Yeah, it's still down, but we're walking over there. The lines are pretty good. Some riding entertainment. He's a money fan picker, a money fan. Pretty cool. Pretty good friend of mine. All right, so um, walking back under the umbrellas, and got some more over here. That's a, that's another atmosphere. They always have live entertainment out here. They always have something to keep people busy with. Yeah, the staff is so friendly. It just adds to the whole atmosphere. Yeah, the staff is, is fantastic. Like, they'll just walk around, and, like they'll look at you and be like, "Hey, I hope you're having a great day." And yeah, it's, it's like, great. It it's just great. puts a smile on my face. Exactly. It's something that not none any other park. Holiday World's great staff. I'd say, I don't know, it's, di it's a different, I don't think they do that as much at Holiday World, but they do have great staff there too. But other than that, I don't know of any other park that really has this great customer service. I can't think of one off the top of my head, so. This is a great park. Live entertainment everywhere. Really cool. Uh, with their uh, food, uh, flower and food festival, really cool, like, different uh, things you can check out. They have butterfly, like, gardens and different cool flower statues and things like that, so. Definitely worth it for that, and then also obviously for the coasters. So, yeah. really hoping Lightning Rod opens up here. We're, we're turning the corner and walking over there right now. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get we'll get into that here soon. Hopefully, that will reopen. Uh, we'll shall see. <laughs> All right, now we're in line for Wild Eagle. B&M Wind Coaster, he already wrote it today. You said the restraints were bothering you? Yeah, a little 
little bit. They're they're kind of cutting in like right here. They're yeah. Stop my breathing a little. But... Yeah, that's the complaint I used to have, but I want to re-ride it. He yeah. said it feels that way. It always my collar when I ride. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. So I'm feeling it's not going to change, but uh, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna try it out, and test it out here. So very excited. All right, so Wild Eagle did not mind it nearly as much as I did last time. Last time I was here, it really dug into my shoulder blades as we stated earlier. I didn't think it was that bad this time. Yeah, it was, it was actually really good this time. I, I, there was forces before, I thought it was completely forces. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed the ride. I can actually say last time I rode it, I rode it quite a bit, but I never got a ride that I actually kind of enjoyed. And I definitely enjoyed that. So that's actually a thumbs up for Wild Eagle. I, I, I like that ride a lot, actually. Not still my, probably my least favorite wind coaster, but that's just because Gatekeeper and Thunderhead are really good. Yeah, I, I thunder. Bird, excuse me. Thunderheads at this park. Thunderheads like 100 feet. Yeah, down. Thunderheads up there. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna check out the rest of Dollywood, and we'll keep you guys up to date. Wow, and you did that while I was standing there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I can't do anything near like that. All right, so we just did drop line. I think that still stands as one of my favorite drop towers. That was really good. Yeah, that's a good, that's a really good drop tower. It's like, especially after not riding anything for so long. That was fantastic, yeah. Really good drop, really solid drop. A lot of fun. Last time I was here, I marathoned that thing. I don't think I'll be able to do that today. Just due to the lines and everything. We're gonna do Thunderhead real quick, which uh, I've had some controversial opinions on it. It's a good GCI, but I don't remember it being too great, but I've heard some really good things about it. Uh, since I wrote it in 2017, so I want to recheck it out. Thunderhead is complete there. Very good. Um, surprised, again, all these rides I'm re-riding are, are, are surprising me. I don't know if it's uh, since I haven't ridden anything in so long or what, but that was intense. That was airtime filled. That was great. Yeah. That um, was, we just flew really with Alex as well. This is his first ride on it. Alex, that was insane. I don't know how it was for you guys in the back, crazy. In the back row. Saying? In the back row, that was the front row we were getting airtime and intensity. We definitely. Uh, there was yeah, lots of airtime. Yeah, um, we're gonna go, I think, do a mystery mine because I just reopened up. And we waited in line, so we might as well go do that. But we're definitely gonna come back and do that later. That's yeah, that, that was insane. Well, that might be better than lightning rod. I mean, <laughs> I haven't ridden lightning rod yet. Yeah, you might not figure that, find that out, but yeah, I'm that, was, that even, was insane. Yeah, uh, might that, not find out today. That was worth the trip. That was, even if we don't get the right lightning rod, that was worth it. So. I <laughs> did not expect that to be as fast as it was. I mean, yeah. that, and it was actually reasonably smooth too. It was, and it was a huge retract portion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was a retract portion that was really, really smooth. That was, that was incredible. 
so glad we got the chance to get yeah, on that. That was well worth the trip. Yeah, and that was that's the shortest line in the park, and I would easily yeah. say that's the best coaster here. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, At least without the, lightning rod. The best coaster that I've ridden today, <laughs> and which I mean I'm excluding the lightning rod. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the best coaster operating. Yeah. The that's best coaster that's operating today. right now. We yeah. still haven't ridden Mystery Mine yet. Yep. Or, I mean I haven't, but yeah. We're heading to that right now. It looks like it has a short uh, wait time. So it looks like it was a 10 minute wait time most likely, so we're gonna head to that and check it out. Hold up, hold up. That's a family coaster? We just got off Dragonfly, and this is a ride that's been marketed as a family coaster, but that thing was pretty dang intense. There's some good G's in there. Yeah, my yeah, legs I, were numb at one point. I mean... It pulls pretty, yeah, pretty smooth, pretty hard. It was fast. It, it, it was quick. It was quick. It was butter. I mean, it, it was butter like smooth. butter. Yeah, that was, that was, that was fantastic. I would like to see Vacoma just make a bigger version of this. Yes. Like, oh, that's my all God. they have to do is just, yeah, just take be, this exact same ride and just make it bigger. <laughs> and they really have a hit. <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. That was a great ride. We also did Mystery Mine earlier, which we didn't really do a wrap up of, which was also great. That was your first ride on What did you think about Mystery Mine? Oh, very fun and wacky, but I love that about that ride. It's just very weird. Yeah, I exactly. If that's that's the best way to describe Mystery Mine. It's a great ride, but it's definitely weirder. Uh, a weird ride. Um, so we're going to go do the rest of the park. Lightning Rod still has yet to open, but we've heard some uh, kind of uplifting statements like, oh, it might, you know, we don't stop until the very end. You know, they're going to keep trying to get it up until the park closes. So hopefully, hopefully we cross our fingers that that happens. So. Yeah. But other than that, uh, it's been a great day here so far. Yeah. Enjoying our day here. It's a beautiful park. It's great weather now. Yeah, it's, now it's really nice out. It's really nice, so uh, we'll keep you guys in tune. All right, guys, well, these idiots decided to do the kitty coaster. Um, here they come right now, actually. <laughs> they decided to do the kitty coaster, and um, yeah. I already have the credit, so no need for me to do it, but um, more fun for them, right? Uh, 
He's a pretty good kitty coaster. And, uh, definitely, um, definitely good for the credit. And of course, they, they do allow uh, adults to ride. Some parks don't allow adults to ride the kitty coaster. Here they come again. That is the final cycle. Uh, we're gonna go do Thunderhead again, which is right back here behind it. All right, you can probably see it. We're right back here. We're gonna go do Thunderhead one more time, and then we might go back to Tennessee Tornado. Uh, hopefully Lightning Rod opens up here soon. We're really uh, looking forward to riding that. Most likely won't happen, but uh, we're still looking forward to it. As you, something you might notice that what's going on is a lot of my mask keeps falling down. I just wanted to point that out. That is happening a lot. When you're talking, when you're chewing gum, it, it's very difficult to keep this thing from uh, staying above your nose. So you're gonna have to do that uh, readjusting a lot. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing to have to wear a mask, but I think it is a good way. I mean, everybody in the park is wearing a mask, so it's very, it feels very safe, very comfortable uh, in that situation. So yeah. How was the kitty coaster? You're number one. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys at Thunderhead. All right, scratch that. We are not doing Thunderhead. It looks like it's down for a little bit. Yeah, right well, off, they've been riding that thing for the past like 10 minutes. So yeah, so. and it's been, they've been sending a couple empty trains. So we're going to go do Wild Eagle, we think, and then do Tennessee Tornado. And then it is time for the one, the only, cinnamon bread. Woo! I've had it before. He's had it before. Alex has not had it before. No. So we're excited to get him that give them that experience very exciting because uh i remember my first time it was it's a, it's a life-changing experience really edon is. as well will be trying uh edon as well will be trying cinnamon bread so we're excited to do that you're good oh i love this park guys uh it truly is one of my favorite parks i'd say where i have it probably will stick at i don't know if i like it better than the parks i like i have i think bush and cedar point and Kenobles and those parks ahead of it but it's right up there with those so there's definitely something that uh to consider i mean it's, it's a great ride it's right up there with those parks it just really is all based on preference and yeah it's a beautiful park it really i know it's only like 150 acres but it really feels like a much bigger park like yeah, i feel i feel like i've been walking around like more than i would at king's dominion or bush gardens <laughs> yeah yeah it is it is a little bit of confusion there's, there's a lot there's a lot of different paths and stuff like that um but yeah we're gonna go do wild eagle that's a wind coaster that i actually quite enjoy now and we're gonna go check out that ride and then like i said get some cinnamon bread and to our luck, Wild Eagle's down too. So, oh, surprise. <laughs> Dollywood definitely, that is the one problem that I think consistently happens at this park is you have great rides, you have great attractions, but coasters go down quite a bit here. Whether it's Lightning Rod or whether it's, you know, something like Wild Eagle Fire Chaser. I mean, that's, well, that's number, ride number what that's gone down today. I think that might be the third or fourth ride today. That's the second time Wild Eagle's been down. Yeah, that's the second time just Wild Eagle's been down. And then there's been like three or four other attractions that have gone down throughout the day as well. So, there goes, there goes Fire Chaser Express. Fire Chaser Express was down earlier too. Um, so, it's definitely an issue that you might you might face with this park. I'd say it's pretty likely that at least a couple rides will be down, it seems, with this park. Definitely some good rides here, but that's sometimes the issue of concern for this park. So, we're going to go do Thunder, uh, Tennessee Tornado now. Hopefully that's <laughs> operational. Uh, we'll, we're going to get some footage of the ride and we're going to ride it. So, and, then, and then we're off to the cinnamon bread as stated before. All right, we are getting cinnamon bread. We're very excited for that, aren't you? Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. Um, we're going to have a first reaction to cinnamon bread. We're really excited to uh, get some uh, some of the greatest some of the greatest uh, theme park food, food ever made. F food in general, yeah, it's it's really good. So uh, we're going to get some. We're going to eat some, and we're going to review some here coming up. All right. Oh my gosh. Two first people, two uh, two oh. first timers, time eating. Cinnamon bread. Have, like, We've had cinnamon bread before. Calories. Me and him have had cinnamon bread. Yeah, it's 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 really good. It's worth it. Yeah. That's, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I see why everyone talks about this. Yeah, bread. yeah, it's great. I you know, and here's your first bite. Yeah. If you can get it out. <laughs> It's good stuff, right? Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, now I'm gonna dig in, so but I just wanna get their first reaction, so. You loving it? You loving it? It's great, right? Oh my gosh. Alright. Wow, I have to make sure I don't eat this whole thing. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be very sick on my drive <laughs> Alright guys, alright guys. This is not Holy a drill. Crap. This is not a drill. Lightning rod is open. 
We, it's a five minute wait, we're, we're heading that way. He was in the middle of the bathroom, I <laughs> checked my phone, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a five minute wait. We're this going. Um, holy crap. We've been waiting for 11 hours. Adrenaline is pumping right now. Just for this one ride. Adrenaline is pumping. We're hoping we can at least get like two or three rides on this. I'm hoping one night, night ride. You know, just one is would be great, but I know I want as many as possible. I just want to get one ride on it. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Be happy with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. All right. Um. So again, not a drill. This is seriously happening. We're going to lightning rides. Holy crap. This is. <laughs> this is insane. It's almost like I drove all the way here for this ride. Yeah, I know. I was not expecting. To, when I heard like a demo day, I was like, I'm not gonna ride it. I'm just. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, he, he literally went into the bathroom like, ah, oh, he's like, I'll just check at nine, but he's like, there's no point really. That it's like gonna be closed. Yeah, and, and it was like we were kind of settling, and we're like, yep, yeah, every other coach is just pretty good. You know, we got we got a good. Park, we had a good park day, you know. Yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <There's a bug. laughs> That's, that's good luck. It's a good luck omen. Uh, and that's it. But yeah, we were kind of getting to that mood of like, okay, we're okay. Yeah, we're, we got in everything me. else. We had a good day I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna name him. He's Jeremy. literally following us. You can't see that. You might have just saw that. Yeah, that, that, light, that lightning bug is following us. That's, that's a good that's omen. Oh my god, yeah. That's, that's a good omen. It's a lightning bug. Okay. But yeah, we were in that mindset of we kind of got a good day. We're good. You know, everything else. You know, lightning rod. We didn't get to ride, but it's okay. We're fine. But now that it opened, it's like. Never mind, we didn't have a good day. We need to get the lightning rod immediately. <laughs> I was actually angry. Yeah. I was so I was, angry all day. I was pretty upset. And plus, yeah. I was also asleep. And you might realize I'm not wearing a mask right now. I just real, We just came out of Max Free Zone, and I just now realized I'm not wearing a mask. But I will be putting that on ASAP after putting this uh, video, after recording this video. Um, there's really no one near us, so we're all right for now. But yeah, I'm so excited. We're going to go do lightning rod. So I'll check on you guys after that. That was insane. <laughs> uh, I'm speechless. Um, holy crap. That was insane. I think it's my number one. I still have to, we're going to ride it one more time. We're, we're in line again for it, but that that's insane. Yeah, it's way, 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 way better than I remember it. Way better than I remember it. it I remember it being great. That was like fantastic. That was phenomenal, that was phenomenal. yeah. I mean, that was crazy. What did you think, Edon? That was your first ride on it. Yeah. I mean, out of this world, like cartoony. Like, wow. It's so good. It's so good. The quad dance. The quad dance, fantastic. The whole ride's the fantastic. The sideways air time. Like, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's by not far. A no, it never loses speed. It's 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 just a yeah. consistent, yeah. consistent. Yeah. Like, how does it keep going? It's like it doesn't slow down. It's up the mountain and back down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just it's just it doesn't make sense how good it is. It's great. Um, Definitely look forward to like future videos and future podcasts about me talking about it because I will eventually rank it. I don't know if I'll be able to rank it tonight, even after this ride, because it's pretty chaotic. I got to think about it some, but that, that was that was that was insane. Um, so we're probably gonna finish up with the ride on this, and I'll see you guys all at the wrap up at the very end of the video. All right, and for the 18th time today, a coaster went down. Well, I said, and lightning rod went down. So we got one ride. It was great. We got back in line and we were literally the next fast lane party to go in. I yep. look over and the train is sitting at the bottom of the launch. Yeah, so um, sadly, we got one lot ride, one ride and that was that was fantastic. So yep. uh, it was I successful. Got the ride, you so. got a back seat ride. I got Good. second to back in terms of the capacity. They were they were they were stacking like yeah. different rows, so you didn't actually get in the very back. But that it was the last car. Yeah. Well, that was a successful day. They're playing Wings, so that's pretty great. As we're exiting the park, which is by Paul McCartney, one of my favorite bands. So this is this is a successful day. Um, Lightning Rod was great. I think it, it. I don't know where it's gonna rank for me, but stay tuned. More videos, more uh, reviews, more podcast episodes, and I will definitely release you know my full full on depth thoughts on where it ranks. But it's definitely it's definitely up there. It's definitely top top four still. That's where it, it's at number four right now, and I think it could possibly fall in somewhere uh, a little higher if I if I think about it some more. Um, but yeah, that was exciting. We're gonna go do some mountain coasters now, though. So the day's not completely over, but this video's over. So we'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.